This section is related about JavaScript and XSS attack. So in this section, we are going to take a look at various points. Like first of all, we will learn about some XSS and JavaScript attacks. Then we will perform practicals on XSS by using effect of XSS. Then we will learn about some more interesting commands in XSS attack, which is also called cheat sheet. And then I will show you the defending techniques against XSS attacks. So first we are starting with the first video of section four, which is XSS and JavaScript attack. So in this video, we are going to take a look at First of all, what is XSS attack and what is the process of XSS attack? Let's start with XSS attack introduction. So XSS is also called CSS and the full form of XCSS is called cross-site scripting. So XSS or CSS are same. XSS attack in the second point you can see XSS attack is a kind of attack in which attacker inserts malicious commands in the web application. So what kind of malicious commands they can use? They generally use JavaScript, right? Inside XSS attack, attacker use malicious JavaScript to insert these malicious commands in the web applications. In general term, XSS attack has three types, persistent attack, non-persistent attack and DOM based attack. Persistent attack means the attack which is persistent which is also called server side attack. Non persistent means which is not permanent, which is not persistent. That is also called client based attack. Document based model or document object model is the third one. Now we will learn what is the process of XSS attack. So here you can see on the screen that uh, this is the process of XSS attack and uh, I'm going to explain you that how it works. For example, this is the attacker, right? And the attacker is inserting some malicious commands inside the server. So this is the server you can see, right? This is the web server. This is the victim or a regular user of the website. What he does, he basically sends a request to, by, by using browser, he's sending the request. The request is going to the web server. So in return, the, it is showing in the browser, right? And here it is going to the attacker. So what is the process here? Basically attacker has inserted some malicious script. So when any user is trying to access that particular web application, maybe the user is reflecting to some other website or redirecting to some other website, which is owned by attacker or uh, there is a possibility that uh, the cookies of the victim can be sent to the attacker and attacker can use that cookie to access the website. So this is the basic process of XSS attack. It inserts some malicious JavaScript in the web server and redirect the victim to that particular malicious website.